Welcome to this introduction to constructivist approaches to learning. According to Solomon and Shrum, 2007, constructivism views learning as a process in which the learner actively constructs or generates new ideas or concepts based upon current and past knowledge. David Perkins, co-director of Project Zero at Harvard Graduate School of Education, defines three distinct student roles in constructivism, the active learner, the social learner, and the creative learner. Powerful instruction and learning occurs when students are actively engaged in creating new knowledge while connecting socially in communities of practice. Another constructivist approach is project-based learning, or PBL. In the September 2010 issue of Educational Leadership, authors from the Buck Institute in California, an organization devoted to PBL, spelled out seven essentials for good project-based learning. One, a need to know. Two, a driving question. Three, student voice and choice. Four, 21st century skills. Five, inquiry and innovation. Six, feedback and revision. And seven, a publicly presented product. Another constructivist approach to learning is connectivism. Connectivism is driven by the following. One, decisions are based on rapidly altering foundations. Two, new information is continually being acquired. Three, the ability to draw distinctions between important and unimportant information is vital and four, the ability to recognize when new information alters the landscape based on decisions made yesterday is also critical. As we consider these three approaches to learning, it becomes evident that in order to maximize the power of Web 2.0 tools in teaching and learning, teachers have to be willing to design instruction using a constructivist approach.